Lauren, just oh, thank you. Um, how difficult was this game with you know the short numbers and then you know they had the size advantage as well. Just trying to battle it out and try to find a way to win this game and and gut it out. Yeah, um, Miami's a really tough team. You know they were in the Elite Eight last year. You know they have a couple of returners, new transfers coming into it. They're really tough. Um, but one thing about us, we didn't care about that. We wanted to come out. We wanted to, you know, go as hard as we can with the seven people we have. We didn't care that we had seven. Um, all of us expected to win this game tonight, regardless of how many numbers we were down. Um, like I said, they're a tough team, and they got the best of us tonight. And, you know, maybe we'll see them again. Um, but I'm, I'm just proud of my team. You know, we fought hard until the end. This is kind of a question for both of y'all. Just when did y'all realize you were going to be shorthanded tonight? And what was that preparation like going into the game, kind of knowing that you would be down some of your top players? Um, so we, you said when we realized? Yeah, we just what was the preparation like going into it? Um, so we realized yesterday that we would, but like Lauren said, we said it's not going to affect us. We're going to still come out and we're going to still fight. We're going to work hard because at the end of the day, we won teams. And so I'm really, like she said, I'm really proud of this team too because we came out there seven down and we, I feel like we gave it all. Well, Lauren, you got 39 minutes from Nyanga tonight, I guess. Just what'd you think of her performance? Kind of how she, I mean, that was a career high for her to, to play that minutes. What'd you think of her performance? Yeah, I'm just proud of her. You know, everybody knows she transferred from Miami. So I know she probably wanted that win more than anybody on this team. Um, but, you know, she came out, she gave it her all at a position that, you know, she's usually not at. Um, she did her best, and I think we're all really proud of her. She showed a lot of heart, and you know that's one thing Coach Sam said. Like he, we grouped a lot to him tonight. Like it doesn't matter what goes on. Like whoever's there is going to show up and is going to play, and she was the definition of that tonight. Yeah, uh, Debrisha, you've kind of had to step into this role before, where you have to slide down to the floor, help out with the rebounding effort a lot more. What's your kind of mindset and uh, preparation like when you know that that's going to be the situation? Um, whatever my team needs, that's what I'm willing to do. I feel like tonight they need me at the floor, so that's what I did. It's whatever this team needs because at the end of the day we want to win. We grind every single day, so each and every one of us, like you said, Nyanga coming in at the five, that's not really her position, but she stepped up, and so it just takes all of us willing to do whatever this team needs. Um, I guess, Lauren, what, what was kind of the thoughts after the game from the team? Were you all frustrated? Did, did you feel a little better about this team, knowing that you were close in this ball game with the short numbers? What what was kind of your feel of you know how everybody felt after the game? Yeah, I think everybody was upset. You know, we're competitors at the end of the day. My whole team is. No one likes to lose, so you know we were upset about the loss, but we understand we were down um, seven players tonight. You know, some of our best players out um, with whatever they have going on, but you know. One thing about this team, you know, there's always this positive energy, um, regardless of win, lose, draw, you know, it's always next game, you know what I'm saying? You can't hold your head down just because you have one bad game. And I really appreciate that about this team. Stephon. Debrisha, you guys just played, you know, three games in Texas and had to turn around and, and only playing with seven time. I mean, did you guys feel, you know, any fatigue or anything as the game went on? Did you kind of, you know, start to feel the, the, the I guess, the, the missing depth that you guys had as the game went on? Um, to be honest, I feel like our focus really wasn't even on that. When we came out there, we just wanted to win. So, tired or not, we was going to give it our all. And so, at the end of the day, we were just focused on what the next play, stop, or stop, whatever we needed to do, that's what we was focused on. So, honestly, I don't really know. I don't think it affected us. Um, uh, a lot of energy in the, in the building tonight from the crowd. Just talk about the, the way the crowd showed up and uh, really tried their best to give you guys that extra energy at the end that you never did. Yeah, the um, energy, as always, was electric. You know, you could feel the ground shaking at some times because it was just so loud in here. And even me, I was trying to pump it up, like pull up the crowd a little bit because, you know, we needed that extra, you know, um, because we only had seven people. And I think the fans did a great job with that. Um, we They just made more shots than us down the stretch. And, you know, there's nothing we could do about that. But shout out to the fans because they made, they was loud in here. They couldn't hear a thing. They were saying <laughs> Uh, Lauren, we saw, especially early in the, in the second half, some big plays from Miracle Shepard uh, off the bench. Uh, what did you see from her, and uh, how she uh, developing as she just gets more experience here at the college level? Yeah, Miracle's a dog. Like that's the only thing I have to say about her. Like she doesn't care about anything, anyone. She's just gonna go out and do whatever she does, like whatever she needs to do to win the basketball game. And she knows what she needs to do in order for us to win the basketball game. And that's why we're such a special team. But yeah, Miracle, she's gonna be a great player here. Um, just watching her develop as like the couple, like 
from summertime to now, it's like she's a completely different player in just that span of a couple months. So she's going to have an amazing career there. Final question for a couple of weeks ago, you had talked about, you know, it had been kind of a tough transition mm -hmm. for you coming in here, but your teammates had really encouraged you to kind of stick with it and, and kind of play your game. And it seems like you're really getting to that point. I think you've had three straight double doubles and another one tonight. I mean, how would you address, you know, kind of where you are right now in that transition coming over to Mississippi State? Um, right now, I feel like I'm back to my old self. I really wish we would have got that win tonight so I could really feel back to my old self. <laughs> but, you know, just shout out my teammates, Coach Sam, always in my ear. Be confident, stay confident in yourself. And, you know, just having them around me and having, like, positive energy always around me, even when I make mistakes, you know, they're there for me. So the transition to Mississippi State, you know, the, the old LP, she's gone now. Just, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs>